You all can't say that I don't love you because this is a Jandis lobby with double tokens. We got Beast Murlocs, but I took Tamsin over Jandis here. That Jandis is the nuts. Took Tamsin so I can show you guys how to play her or what my experience with her is and give you some insight in what I think of the hero. So thank me later. Anyway, let's jump into the Tamsin gameplay in case you don't know what she does. She's a new hero and zero gold. You basically destroy your lowest health minion at the start of fights. And you give that health to all your other minions, so the minion returns at, uh, at the end of combat back on your board, and the health isn't you know, permanent. So turn one, I just buy this because it was my best card. Turn two, I'll just level. I'm not gonna stay down. In the first couple turns, you basically don't have a hero power, as you can see. We also started the game at five uh, armor, so that means that it's not meant to be a top tier hero because top tier heroes don't get armor anymore. Uh, yeah, I just stay on tier two. I do like power leveling here, but since the lobby isn't great for power leveling, there's like no max. I'll sit down and just take this Sully and take the Demon Taunt uh, to be a bit stronger because, well, I'm trying to figure out what to do with this hero power. Hero power in here doesn't make sense because I would sell a Tutu or remove a Tutu from a board to get plus 4 HP on bad cards. Doesn't make it worth it. Now we're up against Diablo uh, and I'm gonna buy just two pairs, which is okay. And I guess hero powering now is worth it because we take off a Tutu off the board. And get plus 8 health total, so it should be stronger than what we currently have, I guess. Uh, we'll see what I gives for the next fight and how much tempo it actually is. Uh, but Diablo, well, he gets an extra 5-5, five, five, which I guess is just a little bit better than uh, some random HP on some bad units. Now, there's a, already some flaws here that you can see with the hero power, right? Like, you know, since it's always the lowest health that you kill, you never really get a lot of HP on your cards. Uh, unless you're very late in the game. Uh, I'll talk about other implications later on, but yeah, we lose the fight. We are actually pretty weak. We do have two pairs. I don't really see where this is going. So I'm, I'm panicking a little bit because, uh, well, I don't want to play too many times in games since she does seem pretty bad. I do find another pair. Now this one was bad. No good tree job. So uh, now we have three pairs and now I'm like, okay, you know, if you had a triple, we'll be fine. We're up against the test. She's probably gonna steal a triple from me. And yes, she is. But there's nothing I can do about that. We kill off uh, the elemental again. We got plus 10 HP total, which, like, in theory, seems pretty okay. I think uh, what I realized is the best way to use this hero power is, I guess, with spawn, because it instantly pops spawn, giving, you know, your board your plus one, plus one, plus an extra two, uh, two HP on everything. So it turns your spawns into plus one, plus three. Um, guys with the frontal right uh, now which is good but if that's your entire hero power it's pretty bad right so there's a spawn i, I don't want to take it anymore i don't want to try it out i really need good stuff i was considering leveling but i'm not that strong i'm still 25 hp mainly because of the armor um but yeah i was looking to hit a triple i'll just take a four drop here don't think i can greed and tier four is good anyway um now lots of options domo Recycling Wraith if you want to do elemental stuff, but because we have two Deferral Taunts, I think Witchwing is just better. It's still turn 6, it's still relatively early, so we can still try and greed, get some money, get some value of this Witchwing, which I'm going to try and do. We have a bunch of rolls left, try and hit something good. The shops have been terrible, but I guess you find another triple, so I'll just buy it. And we can delay this one a turn, like we could take another forge up here, but I think it doesn't really work nicely with my gold. So it's probably better if we just, um, yeah. Keep it on the board and take a five next turn. Now my hero power, I hero power trying to test that if it also triggers avenge and it does so that interaction works properly because you never know right? New patch, new interactions, things break but yeah it does trigger avenge it seems to work as intended, pop death rattles. Uh, now my hero power again just gives me plus two HP on my board and kills off a 2-2 which doesn't compete with people with actual good hero powers like this one who just gets a new hero power every single turn. Um, what the funny thing is basically that people, uh, once this hero was announced in the comment section, just said, Oh, this hero is broken, just imagine the late game potential with big elementals, they all get so much HP. Or it pops self as heroes, or it is this and that, and everyone thinks about the insane high roll potential, and this, the insane late game stuff that you could do, but you gotta get there, you never get there at this raid. It's the same logic behind why Demon Hunter or Illidan is bad. Like, it's insane if you have double Massive Cleave, you go first. If you have uh, double Macaw with Goldrin, right? It's nuts. But guess why Demon Hunter is one of the worst heroes? It's because his hero power is super bad early on. You just die and I feel like the same as with Tamsin. Tamsin is even worse than Demon Hunter because the hero power is just bad. Like, you, you grief yourself. You can't play Spore, you can't play Ghoul. I mean, you can play Ghoul, you pop it. Uh, but uh, this... <laughs> It just doesn't seem worth. Uh, but I 
triple here into Mitrex. Um, trying to set up some sort of menagerie is the only thing I got going. A menagerie got buffed. I want to try it out. Um, the Mitrex is good. It's already an A12. I think Mitrex is a really good addition on tier 5. I might make tripling into 5s maybe valuable again. I know some people have said they don't like Mitrex, but I, I disagree. Uh, I also bought a better dragon. Uh, I kept the weakest elemental, so that way I can still milk a bit with my, my Witch Ring. But I feel like Witch Ring has to come out soon. Like It's been decent, but we're not getting anything. I've lost every fight pretty much so far, I think. The, the, have I ever actually won a fight? I don't think so. Here's a better elemental, which I will take. Uh, because, you know, I guess I'm committed to it. And there's Terragossa. Now, Terragossa is like the only synergy that I see with this hero power. Because it keeps the health buff permanently, right? So, I can see Terragossa like you play it but it's still so bad a trickster is better a trickster also gives you health and sometimes it lands on Terragossa less consistent but if you gotta like play a 4-4 and give it like plus 2 or plus 3 health a turn with your hero power that seems pretty shit to me uh, especially since well it's always your lowest HP card that it eats so I don't want to eat here uh, last turn I also didn't hero power I think because I could have um, Killed my bronze sword, and so that's a big deal. If I hero powered, it either killed one of my taunts or my bronze sword, and it wasn't worth taking the risk to get like plus three HP, but maybe kill my my five three bronze sword and, or my four three bronze sword. I mean, uh, now this turn I do hero power, it kills a murloc sadly, but yeah, I I buffed my bronze sword out of range, so I had to buy a buff here to make sure my bronze sword doesn't die or get eaten. Um, and yeah, now my Taragosa has plus three HP, I guess. Great. It just is way too slow, it doesn't really work. So I'm trying to maybe tr uh, tr force a couple ideas with Tamsin that are not optimal to do all at once, but I really want to give her a fair go. I want to try as many strategies as possible with her, like there goes how good is it, how good is if I do this line instead, what am I supposed to do, right? Uh, but yeah, I don't see how to make it work, I'm gonna be honest, like what do we do at this point? Do I just sell all my weak shit and then hero power? and then we get like a plus 5 health, but like, it's not really possible to consistently get high health from the zero power in the mid game. It, I feel like it just actively griefs you or actively makes you worse. Uh, anyway, we're level because we're up against the ghost, I go to 5 because I feel like Menagerie is the only thing that we can do from this spot. Or maybe we can transition into something, but then I have to go to 5. I'll see what I get offered. I hero power, just get plus 3 HP onto stuff, uh, let's see what we eat this time, and it appears to be random, at first I thought it was the, it takes the left side, or the leftmost minion, uh, but it takes a random one, which is bad as well, because if you have multiple cards with the same HP, it's just up to RNG uh, which one is going to be eaten. Now, we're top 6, I counted this a win, we're up against Diablo again, and we know Diablo is strong, so it's a little bit scary, I have to try an all in here, and we don't really have scaling, we hit two triples, and... Well, our triples ended up not being that great for us, or not doing that much. Like, the Matrix is nice, look at how big the Matrix is, but that's it, right? That's all we have going for us. Um, the Witch Ring didn't give us too much valuable stuff, because I couldn't keep greeting, playing greedy, because I'm just too weak. Um, so yeah, in short, what do I think of this, this hero? I mean, don't play her. Uh, you've seen me play, that's what I do. I pick bad heroes so you guys don't have to, so you guys have my honest thoughts and opinions. They, they need a buff, like the health needs to be... If the health is permanent, it's probably too strong, but they need to change the way she works. Uh, maybe may change it to highest health total, that'd be interesting. Would that be broken? Okay, maybe. Just experiment, try different things, I guess. Now, I play a Spore, so I can't even hero power. That's the thing, I want to play a Spore against the Diablo, so I can't hero power. The hero power still gave me 3 HP only, by the way, because I don't know what else to do. So, yeah, awkward. I don't know. But thank you guys for watching. You know, if you enjoyed this, don't forget to subscribe if you are new, since this is what I do. I post games, and I, I hope uh, you, you all learned something from it. Uh, I'll be trying out the new Diablo as well, some other new uh, like strategies, like Menagerie, maybe it's good now. Uh, I'll experiment a bit. You can also catch me live on Twitch, where I'll stream most of it. But yeah, Damson, don't take her. <laughs> Have a good day, and I'll see you in the next one.